What's happening? Crypto Farm, happy, happy Monday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content, so thank you. Luna. Luna ticks buying Luna. No, I'm only joking. If you bought it, you, um, you, you, you might have made money on it, sold it, whatever. But yeah, the Luna Luna ticks. A back in force this weekend. Um, basically, Luna. Luna pumped like fuck when the airdrop dropped. 70-80%. Um, no, sorry. It pumped like fuck, then dropped 70-80%. Um, went all the way up to like $30. Then back down to fucking 4 Now it's at like 5 8 to, if you bought it and made money on it, well done, fair play. If you bought it and have lost money, don't freak out, don't panic. Stay the course. Only invest money you're willing to lose. So when you watch £100 in an asset go to £10, you're not really that bothered because you, you, you put it in the coin instead of going to the pub. It was either in your fucking bladder or put it in something else that you're willing to lose. You was going to go and spend it anyway, and you thought, no, fuck spending it on that bullshit. I'm going to have a little gamble on this. I'm going to invest in this. Listen, guys, if you don't do your own due diligence, do your own research, be patient. Actually look at the assets, the fundamentals, the project, the team. If you don't do a little bit of research in your investment, I'm afraid you're not investing. You're gambling. Yeah? We've had this before between gambling, trading, and investing. Investing's in, in your head, if you're investing, it's for the long term. It's not for next fucking week. Yeah? That's trading or gambling. If you're day trading, you're trading on information. If you go to the football to bet on football and don't even look at the fucking teams, don't even look at the teams, don't even look at the form, don't look how they're currently playing, don't look at the lineups. You're going in blind. You're gambling. Now, if you go in and you've been following both teams, been following all players, you've looked at the lineups, you've checked the form. This goes all the way to horse racing, from cricket to football, American football. If you've been looking, if you've done your own research, you were beyond gambling. You're actually trading information. Whether, I don't give a fuck if you're in a bookies or not. You're trading, you, you're trading what you feel you've learned. You want to say gam you gambled it, but it's, it's more informed than a gamble. Now, these Luna lunatics love a good gamble. <laughs> I'm not saying on here did your own research. Um, but, mate, just, just know, you, you're throwing money at this. It's generally going to get... Um, it's potentially going to get swallowed up. Um... So, the Anchor Protocol got exploited with the launch of Luna 2.0 with some users making a free $800,000. $800,000 for free. I'm buzzing when I get a, an airdrop of five ton. Jesus fucking wept. So following the launch of Luna 2.0, some lucky users got a three, got a three, free $800,000 thanks to the bug that happened on Anchor Protocol lending and borrowing platform. Here's how it happened. Reportedly, the price of Oracle Luna C or Luna Classic went to $5. Despite the price of actual assets being significantly lower than $5, one of the users on Anchor's platform noticed the bug and deposited around $20 million Lid up on Lunar tokens, which <laughs> which was considered a hundred million dollars by the platform. The real value of deposited funds should have been around two hundred thousand dollars. After noticing the issue, <laughs> one user took a loan of forty million UST and withdrew it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Massive eight hundred thousand dollar profit. Fucking crazy. 
absolutely fucking crazy. Luna reboot plummets over 70% just hours after its debut. Did I go dark then looking down? Camera, sort it. Sort brightness. Fucking keep it bright, you bastard. So, after peaking, Jesus Christ, I mean, it, it's absolutely fucking madness. Absolute fucking madness. So it's $30 and drops 80% in the first day of training. Of trading. The new Luna 2.0 chain went live today, May the 28th at 6 a.m. UTC, as millions of wallets received an airdrop of the new token. The Genesis chain also began trading on Bybit at 8 a.m. UTC. The price started at 30 cents before skyrocketing. Excuse me, to $30 in the first 30 minutes of trading. However, the high was short-lived as the price tumbled to just $5.30 in the following three hours. At the time of writing the article, Luna 2.0 is not available on other major exchanges such as Binance, with the exchanges still working through processing the airdrop of tokens to the users on gate.io. Um, sorry, sorry, I missed a full stop then off his users. On gate.io, it reached the high of $18. Wrong goal because I read ahead. <clears throat> it was a high of eighteen dollars while on KuCoin the volatility was considered the volatility was considerably lower. It was a higher just seven dollars four. <laughs> this is fucking madness. You now when you think you can like go on one fucking platform, you didn't even have to wait, mate. Where the fuck was I when this was happening? Where's my phone call, man? Why the fuck didn't no one bail me to just say, yo, Scott, do yourself a favour, mate. Go on KuCoin. Buy a shitload of Luna 2.0 at $7. Fly the fuck over to buy, uh, fly over to Gate.io. Or buy Bit and sell it for $18 to $30. Doubling to quadrupling your fucking money. Buy that. Literally one platform to the other. No waiting for price fluctuate. It was fucking there. It was there. He we, we, we was fucking seven seven dollars on that platform and thirty odd on that one. Fucking eighteen on that one. <laughs> Did you do the? Re I didn't do the research. I didn't do the research. I wasn't diligent enough, and I missed out. If you took advantage and you gained, well done. Fair play to the people who lost. I'm sorry. Feel for you. Unlucky. That twat's fault. Who just who we just clapped? It was that cunt. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, every man for themselves, mate. I didn't do the diligence, did you? No. There you go. You fucking lost. He gained. What do you want me to do? do you, you come to me house. I'll give you a fucking hug. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because everyone fucking needs one at the moment, mate. I'm telling you. So the price stabilized at around the six or seven price mark for several hours, but it's currently trending down with the price at time of press just five dollars seven cent. Now if we're going coin market cap, it's um it's fluctuating still. Five seven, five seven six, five eight, five eight one, five seven six, five eight two, five seven five. It isn't around them areas all fucking morning since I've been up. <clears throat> so Oh, the selling pressure for the new chain is unsurprisingly high, as many investors are cashing out after losing all confidence in the terror ecosystem after catastrophic events of the past few weeks. Further, without the UST stablecoin on the new chain, the only use for Luna token is in the governance of the ecosystem. This is a developing story as a new Luna blockchain has only been running for six hours from the time of writing. Many investors, many investors have not yet really received their airdrop. So all that selling pressure could continue as the rest of the tokens are distributed. Some people haven't even been given the fucking airdrop yet. 
Why is it on a fucking exchange, bruh? Jesus fucking Christ. Don't put it in fucking live pairs until every motherfucker's got the share of it. Some come, you know I mean, you, you, really? Really? Someone makes 800 bags and everyone else is like, fuck you. It'll be that twat who did the fucking 2 billion thing. Who had 2 billion to do that that day? I mean, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. And now who's 100 millions worth of fucking Luna, Luna 2? I mean, what the fuck? I wish I was fucking watching it. It sounds like... Sounds like bullshit, don't it? 582. I told you it's... I mean, it was 576 when we come on a minute. Or oh, 582. Fluctuating. Light fuck from them, re from them areas. But I mean, you got some YouTubers. One guy's like... Terra Luna 2.0 burns at launch. There's one airdrop overview, new lunar price and status quo. We actually click on fucking videos. If you put Luna 2.0 price, or just put Luna 2.0 and search your videos. Got a lot of Luna, Luna 2.0 price prediction. Luna dumps after the airdrop one day ago. Luna crashes 86. Luna 2.0 is now live and the price is pumping. Live trading, the new Luna token is going bonkers, is that title? I have to click your video to get your fucking title, because it's not. He's going crazy, everything you need to know. Luna 2.0 live on Bybit, 5,000% pump, scamming question marks. I mean, these people... Luna 2.0 release today. Will I buy or sell? I'm not gonna say the cunts, the twats, because I don't. I'm not watching the videos. I don't know what they say, but some of the, some of the thumbnails, and some of the titles would suggest that they made people, they influenced people into the pit after they'd already bought a big chunk and climbed out the fucking pit they like watching loads of people just jump in to buy scraps of shit gotta be careful at times when people are like oh this token's on it and it's fucking pumping well it's gone the it's gone the, the it's already on thousand percent bruh you, you expect me to come in now you actually try to influence me to come in after five thousand percent gain bruh are you, t are you taking the piss? Can you wear the rain? Is that fed of pewter card? Is it pissing you off? It'd be nice to know for future videos. Because <laughs> I'll try not to do videos in the rain in my car again. Obviously, this has just started. I couldn't fucking help it. But saying that, inside the workshop, the rain gets pretty loud in there as well. So fuck you, nature. Get me in Spain. So, anyway. Did you make money off Luna 2? Did you get in Luna 2? Did you sell your Luna 2? Did you get burnt on Luna 2? What happened with your Luna 2.0? Oh, um, let me know in the comments. If you got burnt, apologies. Let me know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm empathetic to you. Might, might be clapping the other guy and all that, but you've you got to look at it both sides. One guy makes dough. The other guy loses dough. Someone can't really make money without it coming from someone else, unless the Bank of England and the Fed just print it and give it your, which, we're not all that lucky, are we? So, yeah, on that note, let me know your thoughts in the comments, share the video with your friends, let them have a fucking laugh, and um, enjoy your week, guys, summer soon, hopefully this fucking rain, um, we don't see it too much in summer, we've got about three weeks till summer, 20, 21st of June. Let's roll, eh? Invest in yourself. Invest in that of value. Live long and hodl the lot. Never let it go, mate. Get it staked, get it baked. This the pension pot. Day trading and if it's your job, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about the, the main investment pot, the generational fucking wealth, the one that we're not supposed to be fucking touching under any circumstances. Get it staked. 
get it baked, look after it till it looks after you and the family. Right? Grind, guys. Keep fucking grinding. Everything you can. We've got copper. Do not throw fucking copper away. This shit is fucking priceless at the moment. Save as much. Get as much of it as you can. Get it to the fucking scrapyard. Convert it to crypto. Boom. Yeah. Wishing health and happiness to you and yours. We love crypto. Fucking Luna. And we love you. So, um... Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.